Hi, I'm here at AT headquarters in Eversholt Street in Euston. It's the first day of the Maths Boot Camp. Uh, Maths Boot Camp was formed in collaboration with uh, LGFL, AT, Google, Edexcel. And the idea being is that the students that we invited along today are from a variety of schools, mainly within London, but some beyond. Uh, and they're currently not tracking where they should be in terms of their predicted GCSE grades. The idea being that we're going to deliver the maths material in a slightly different way because, let's face it, they've been doing the same old, same old for the past four years and it isn't working, so we decided to try something a bit different. And we mean that in two ways. We mean pedagogically, we're trying to get them to develop strategies that convince themselves that they know they're right, that they can actually figure problems out, and also from a technological point of view, using the Google Chromebooks, which Google kindly supplied along with the styluses, using Google Classroom to, to synchronise and centralise all the, the work that they're doing and the resources that we're pushing out to them, and also to keep the pace going. So what we're trying to achieve over the next four days is to really help students who've been a bit disengaged with maths over the past few years really see the benefits of learning maths, not just to pass their GCSEs, but also um, learning maths for maths sakes and the importance of it. Uh, so we're doing that through a variety of kind of real world applications, but also using some quite advanced, clever technology, uh, which is free to schools, um, just to showcase what you can do in a maths classroom, which traditionally is not well utilised in schools around London and the UK. So all students are using uh, G Suite for Education, uh, so we're using Google Classroom, Chromebooks, which are fully 360 convertible uh, touchscreens with styluses, so students can do traditional mathematical inputs uh, in a digital environment. Um, and they can also screenshot and uh, take pictures of their, their working and upload that. In order to measure progress, we benchmark them at the beginning of the boot camp and at the end of the boot camp. We benchmark this in terms of data from a maths assessment point of view with that externally verified, but we've also done that in a mixture of uh, questionnaires and fe student feedback, measuring how their experience of learning mathematics changed throughout the four days. So we have a mixture of quantitative and qualitative data for both the beginning and the end of maths boot camp. Some of the things I've learned is it's good for the students to be out of their comfort zone, not always to be in, in their own school environment. The fact that we've had students from five or six different schools here today, the fact that they've had to travel up here on their own and make the commitment to say, you know what, we're going to go to Maths Boot Camp, we've got to be there at half nine, central London. That's, that in itself shows a sign of commitment to their learning. So one of the key things I've learned today is that these students have been identified by their schools as kind of going off the track. So they've, they've lost engagement and they're not doing as well as they perhaps should be. Um, but I've seen that just by keeping a, a quick snappy pace, allowing students to instantly get feedback on how they're doing, has shown that even the most reluctant student is pretty biddable when you put the right technology in their hands. We've got some fantastic people working here that have given up their time, but also we've got some fantastic technology which has been lent to us by Google, and that has empowered us, definitely, in terms of the feedback, how quickly we can detect misconceptions and correct them. It's just not possible to do that in a more traditional way, just not possible. Uh, and it's some examples of that would be how we've, we managed to detect students really were going off on the wrong, wrong track, get them straight back on track, and then all of a sudden they've make huge amounts of progress within certain topics within very short spaces of time. In terms of the pedagogy, getting them to move along and actually convince me, show me, prove to me that their answer's correct, rather than asking me, is this right, sir? They're saying to me, this is right, and this is why it's right, sir. And that's a big difference in terms of, of, of how they're answering questions. There's a long way to go with that for, the, for some of them, but the fact that they've started that journey is really, really important. Like most of the questions I answered today, I wasn't like 100% confident that it was what I was saying was right. So the fact that I've proven it to you to show that I am right in my head, it kind of helps me with the mathematical terms. The benefit of using technology is that we can get real-time analysis of the students' work and give them feedback in real time, where traditionally that just wouldn't be possible with paper and pen. In my classes, we have a more traditional approach. Although it was successful, it isn't, isn't always necessarily what I would work best in. So a lot of whiteboard and teacher talking at the front with textbook work, whereas today it was all Chromebook based interactive, which is a lot more engaging for me personally. Also because of the instant feedback that you can re I can receive from Graham and Ollie when they can see using uh, G Suite where I'm going wrong and instantly come over and speak to me and work with me on a one-to-one -one basis about what I can do to improve. Whereas in class I tend to maybe ask a friend and it wouldn't necessarily be accurate or correct information. 
So getting that instant response on a task is really helpful and obviously speeds up the process and I don't waste time, especially this close to my exams. So we've been using some of the fantastic resources available on the LGFL website for maths teachers, um, particularly the maths and the real world elements. So today we did some of the viral contagion stuff to help students get understanding of indices and powers um, and exponential rates increasing. Uh, we've also looked at search and rescue for Pythagoras and trigonometry. Uh, tomorrow we're doing a, a big stocks and shares scenario to really help students with their percentages, ratios, decimals and understanding about how they can take the maths they're learning in the GCSE and apply it to the real world. Part of the reason we're doing Maths Bootcamp isn't, isn't just to work on the mathematical improvement. A lot of these kids are low in confidence. I mean, for, to give you an example, for a lot of the students that turned up today, it's the first time they travelled to central London on their own. And that's a fact. So even though they've lived in London their whole lives, for them to get a tube or a train to central London, most of them haven't done that before. So that gives you an idea. So we're building their confidence, we're building their resilience. It's the psychology behind actually being successful as opposed to just being successful in maths where we teach them rules and procedures. We're not doing that. We're working on underpinning their understanding but also working on their overall confidence. So the great thing about all the things we've been using today is that they're all completely free for teachers to start using tomorrow. It doesn't have to be a whole school initiative. They can just pick and choose some of these and start trying it out. Um, and that's what I'd recommend doing. So don't try and completely get rid of all the paper from your maths classroom at once, but start thinking about what can I do to make myself work a bit smarter instead of harder? How can I use some of these free online tools to improve my ability to analyse my students' work without adding the extra burden of time on me? As a result, I'll be able to give students better feedback, they'll have a better understanding of what they do and what they don't understand, and as a big community, we'll make much better progress in our maths classroom. The fact that we've been able to keep the pace and the pace has been the key, the pace has been kept up via the technology and I don't think you could do that without the technology. Advice to teachers, learn how to use the technology and use it and use it effectively because it will make all the difference.